Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question, and the question is what are SQL Server browsing services? SQL Server browsing services is program of SQL Server that run as Windows service. So it's uh, sometimes it's very important to have SQL Server browsing services running, and the reason is that SQL Server browsing services keep track of all the SQL Server instance. Let's say that you have a server and you have a multiple instances cre uh, installed on that server, and you're uh, you have uh, configured those uh, uh, multiple instances with a static uh, port. So all those uh, uh, um, instances running on that particular server, SQL Server browsing services keep a check on that. SQL Server browsing services keep track on that. So uh, the second thing that uh, uh, SQL Server Browsing Services does is if you wanted to use uh, a DAC connection, which is um, a dedicated administrator connection, um, sometimes what happens is if you wanted to recover uh, a SQL Server SA password, uh, then you need to use a DAC connection. Uh, if you use DAC connection, SQL Server Services, uh, SQL Server Browsing Services needs to be uh, installed and it needs to be configured and running. So that's uh, that's the second part of uh, 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 um, SQL Server Browsing Services. One one uh, example I wanted to give it up here that uh, in SQL Server 2012 and SQL Server 2014 we have a, a feature available. We have a, a, a option available, high, uh, always on option in SQL Server, and you can create availability groups uh, and you can create listener. So what happened is that if you create listener uh, using static IP, not using the default IP 1433, if you if you try to uh, connect your application using listener name instead of SQL Server instance name, what and your SQL server browsing services is not running then your application is not going to be able to connect to listener um, name only what happen is when it goes to any calls that comes to dns dns goes ahead and uh, direct those um, th those calls to the a particular ip address uh, which is in uh, dns entry and from there uh, sql if sql server browsing services is not running DNS try to retrieve that listener name on that particular server uh, that it's trying to uh, direct calls to uh, on port 1433. And if you have configured a listener on different port than 1433, then it's not going to be able to resolve that. So in order to have that, SQL Server Browsing Services needs to be running because it keeps track that what instance is running on what port. So in that perspective, SQL Server Browsing Services is really important. Uh, SQL Server Browsing Services gets installed uh, by default uh, in installation, but you have a choice that uh, you can uh, uh, uncheck that. And that those services are actually, once they're installed, they run automatically, but you can put them manually. A uh, few of the production, especially very secure production uh, SQL Server instances, folks like to not run um, SQL Server browsing services. Um, uh, for some reason, it makes it a bit insecure. But um, anyhow, uh, SQL Server browsing services, that, as I am, as far as I am concerned, is uh, um, um, it, it needs to be running for certain um, services to work properly. I hope it helps.